everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings for September 2017 I do want to apologize I know I wanted to upload sooner but it's been unbelievably crazy the last couple of months um, just trying to get through the private consultations uh, the healings the you know spells and rites I've been working for clients so uh, that's the reason why I'm a little bit behind sorry about that uh, I do want to mention we're getting to the end of uh, getting closer to the end of the year and the last three months of the year are the busiest for me. So if you guys are interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. Uh, so you can find my contact information on there and uh, you can book your appointments uh, ahead of time because I will get backed up by the, be or the ending of September all the way to October, November and even December. So just an FYI to let you guys know okay so anyways let's get into your reading this is going to be for Taurus so I did do some channeling with spirit guides uh, before I want to get before I do the reading of the cards so uh, for Taurus um, stress came up very strongly so you guys need to work on mind control um, stop being uh, flighty when making uh, decisions uh, stick to what you want to do and actually see it accomplish actually go through it so you can actually see the results okay so try the best you can to control your mind um what else let's see uh let go of what no longer serves you um again like i said it correlates with that of try the best you can not to be flighty when making decisions stick to them when you make a choice you know don't hesitate about it don't look back don't this don't that try the best you can to stick to that decision uh, it's easier for you to be able to move on sorry guys about that um so let's see what else try the best you can to let go of any form of resentments um, any type of anger or animosity that you hold against someone from the past, uh, past relationship, past lover, whatever it may be. Uh, let go and release yourself from that. Also, you guys listen to your spiritual guides. Spiritual guides are coming through you, or to you guys through dreams, through, uh, through dreams, uh, through messaging. So a messaging would be like uh, if you feel a light tap on your shoulder, if you feel that you keep continuously having the same dream over and over, try not to fixate on the dream but try the best you can to remember exactly what it is that you felt in that dream because most of the time when they're trying to communicate with you they try to do so by emotions not so much by what you see unless in the dream you actually see symbols if you do see symbols like you know uh, the pentacle for me you know something like that uh, that's their way of trying to guide you or trying to uh, bring better clarity for your waking life so make note of that and try the best you can to remember that okay so let's see try the best you can to stop using stubbornness uh, for negative uh, for negative reactions so when you feel that people are you know the you are naturally stubborn um, and when you feel that people are just trying to push your buttons um you know don't don't stick to the i'm gonna you know sit there and argue with you just walk away from it because i do feel that for september they're going to be testing your patience taurus <laughs> so try the best you can to remain calm okay old flames are definitely coming back around uh for you taurus for the month of september so again try the best you can to release what no longer serves you and move forward okay so let's get into your card readings give me one second All right, let's get into your reading. Sorry about that. All right, spray guides. What are the messages for Taurus for the month of September 2017? 
Spirit Guides for the messages for Taurus for the month of September 2017. What are the messages? Mi vida de los pasado y mi vida de los del futuro constantemente mis seres me dan la faceta para dar alguna señal. Okay, let's get into your reading, Taurus. Oh. All right, so let's get your general energy is the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is definitely talking about new beginnings, you know. Um, aces are always new beginnings, but the Ace of Wands is like your passion being ignited or the beginning stages of a connection when it comes to love and romance, okay? So anyways, you're going into the month with the world card. The world card is symbolization of an ending cycle. Something is ending for something new to begin. So it's walking away or ending relationships, removing yourself from past negative uh, relationships that no longer served you. You have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is you definitely try to work out this relationship or the relationship that you were in. If you're currently in a relationship, you're definitely the one that's taking it upon themselves to actually work through it. You have the car, um, you have the, yeah, the chariot, sorry, <laughs> I said the car, the chariot. Um, so the chariot is definitely learning how to maneuver uh, the universe and, and how to ask the universe to assist you in maneuvering anything that has to do with manifestation. So if you guys are working on creating anything that has to do with light work, anything that has to do with, uh, you know, a spirituality, uh, manifestations, anything like that, continue on that because you will let, you will get to a point where you will see it start to manifest and unravel very quickly for you guys. Okay. Now, the king of swords here, this is an air sign. So it could be both male or female. It doesn't have to be just a male. It is a general reading. So an air sign would be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. And this person is looking towards the nine of swords. So the nine of swords is definitely the feeling of helplessness, the feeling of not knowing or not understanding what's happening. And it's like it's all in the mind. But they're looking towards that type of energy so this could be a person that you're recently um that you go to because it, it could be a friend it could be someone that you trust very strongly um and it's you trying to get advice from them because the justice card is here it can also be a representation of um you know you going to a friend or going to someone to give you advice in regards to this relationship because you know that they will give you a very just opinion okay now it could be that you were dealing with an air sign so again like i said libra gemini and aquarius um with the six of wands i see a lot of victory for you guys okay and i feel that more so than love and romance i feel that this is going to be the month of growth uh, and actually being able to stabilize anything that has to do with finances and money, uh, recognition even, uh, you know, for a job well done. Uh, if you guys are working on a project, you will come to see that project be materialized or realized, uh, achieving that goal or attaining the goal. Um, a lot, I see a lot, you dealing with a lot of people for the month of September. The Six of Wands is you returning or feeling victorious over a situation. It could be a project that you were working on or you've been working on. Um, and a lot of people communicating and connecting back and forth with you for the month of September, giving you great feedback. The Six of Cups definitely talks about going or reminiscing about the past. It can also be that you're being nostalgic or have been nostalgic uh, in the previous weeks uh, all the way till, you know, nine weeks or so where things just you felt like perhaps um, you weren't getting clarity in regards to a relationship. I do want to mention you have two eights and two sixes. So the correlation in that is definitely talking to me about um, a lot of new endeavors for you guys, but also a lot of balance um, creating more than anything. Six is a def to me, it's a very definite creating, expanding type of energy. 
So it's like a lot of people are going out of your life, but also a lot of people will be coming in, uh, being able to bring to you or meet you at the same uh, mental level where you're at at the present time. I see you guys very focused for the month of September, definitely. Now you do have the chariot here and you also have the king of wands. King of wands could be a representation of a new fire sign coming into your life or you're dealing with a fire sign. Fire sign would be a Leo, an Aries or a Sagittarius. And with the chariot card, uh, this can also be a representation of a cancer I do want to put out there. But the message that I'm being given is uh, you are being represented here with this uh, king of wands. And the representation of it is your energy for the month of September is definitely going to be a go-getter. You're going to try the best you can to make things happen. And you're very goal-oriented. You're definitely wanting to make more money. You're definitely wanting to start a new business um, or expand and grow within the business you're in at the present time. And the chariot is definitely a promise telling you if you continue pushing forward, you're definitely going to be able to see that fulfilled. You have the Ace of Swords. So again, two aces. There's definitely major beginnings for you guys because you guys are starting the month with an ending cycle. Um, but also throughout the month, you're going to see it expand when it comes to work and when it comes to communication or how you communicate with other people. Uh, the Ace of Swords also talks about um, quick communication because the Ace of Wands is here. It could be like texting, communicating, social media, etc. Um, it can also be a representation of a person that currently you're no longer seeing or you're currently not available to them anymore. Like you walked away from this relationship. Um, the nine of swords is that's their state of mind at the present time and them looking to you or looking at you through social media or anything like that. So again, um, with the ace of swords is definitely, you know, uh, value truthfulness. If they've lied to you in the past, they're going to continue lying to you. So move on from what no longer serves you again. Like I said, um, also if you've been, uh, we were talking about, um, Anything that has to do with spirituality, the Ace of Swords definitely speaks about being able to receive or being able to open your crown chakra and receive messages. So again, pay very close attention to the messages that Spirit Guides have for you guys. Now, at the end of the month, there's definitely going to be a choice. You're going to have to make a choice between two people. This could be a person, like I said, of an air sign um, that was from a past relationship. Um, it, it could be also an earth sign because you do have uh, pentacles here. Um, so I've pretty much seen uh, water sign, air sign here with the justice card. I, I'm pretty much seeing all the elements. So again, you're going to have to make a choice from a person from your past to a person that's coming into your life. So what I mean by that is I am being told that if you make the wrong decision, a decision you have made already in the past, meaning if you've been broken up with a person and you continuously keep breaking up with them and going back, uh, you know, that decision is basically going to come down to you choosing again whether to go back with them or not. And you obviously already know what the outcomes have been in the past, making the same mistakes. So learn from that mistake and try the best you can to make the correct choice, which is to move or release yourself for one lo from what no longer serves you and being able to move forward for new beginnings and new advancements, okay? Now, for those of you guys currently that are in a relationship, I do see a lot of people here in the card. So you you and your partner are definitely dealing a lot with, it could be family members dealing with a lot of, um, like the family members of your girlfriend or of your boyfriend uh, being surrounded by them. Um, I don't see any negatives other than this nine of swords, but this nine of swords is also next to the justice card. So it could be something concerning legalities. Uh, for those of you guys that are, you know, in a long-term relationship or committed relationship, it could be having something to do with a past partner that you're no longer with. If you guys share, uh, share child custody, or if you have kids with this person, they might want to take you to court, uh, to be able to spend more time with their kids because the six of cups is here. Okay. So again, it's about making that choice, making that choice that to other people may not seem right, but to you, that is your truth. And that is, uh, what resonates truth to you and to your heart. So what I mean by this is don't allow other people to tell you, um, you know, yeah, give them child custody. If you feel that they're a negative influence towards your child, um, you, you might feel like they're going to be judging you if you don't allow it. But to me, uh, the justice card is definitely symbolizing you reaching out or going to court 
having to deal with legalities again like I said um, but the two of swords is definitely talking about kind of feeling like you're right um, what's the word I'm looking for like like they've pretty much put you in a like you're in a corner and you're having to make a choice they've pinned you to a corner basically um, and again like I said don't feel that you're not in control of the situation because you definitely are I see nothing but victory cards here with the six of wands the chariot card the ace of uh, wands here and the eight of cups so again like I said um, try the best you can not to allow other people to guide you or to help you make up your mind that's fine if you want to sit there and listen to them give you advice that's always a blessing but ultimately you're going to do what you feel is right at the end of the day okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading light and love to you guys and if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel comment like and share my videos i truly appreciate it and we'll see from each other soon bye